Hey there everyone, Captain Beards here, bringing you another Landgrisser mobile video. Let's get it. Alright guys, now as you can see, we are getting a new update tonight. Um, so early, 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 early tomorrow morning, most of us will be sleeping. Um, depends what your time zone is. Um, it's a new update and they say colossal changes, but it's really not colossal guys Usually every other week they have an update that comes out that's very small and this is the very small update next week We should be getting the bigger update, which will be the new characters Um, it's supposed to be april 18th. So look forward to that guys now I could be wrong. We might not get new characters. Who knows? You know, we're just going based off of the chinese server. So New update, well, bigger colossal update is supposed to be next week, guys. But let's go over this update here. And nonetheless, this is still a really good update. Uh, new class, so Varna is going to be getting a new class, the Dragon Master, which is pretty dope because Varna was already a really good unit. So adding this to her kit will make her even more viable. She is an SR, by the way. So pretty nice that they did that. Unlock skills, endure, passive, when entering battle, defense increases by 7%. Okay, so it's going to make her a little bit tanky, and then she gets Wind Whisper, deals 0.3 times AoE damage to nearby enemies, and applies a random debuff to each target hit. That's actually not too bad either, especially being an SR unit, so she can really get in there and get some support in, debuff some targets, and then maybe uh, her husband, Sephiroth, or Ultimul, or whatever you want to call him, can come in and go for the kill. So comboing them both as Dragon Masters could be extremely deadly, Um, so I could see that. Uh, she gets the Griffin Knights, the Vampire Bats, and Dark Guards. The Vampire Bats uh, would seem out of those units there will probably be the best, especially as a flyer, so you want to keep her mobility extremely high. Griffin Knights, not too bad either, but I feel like Vampire Bats will probably be the way to go for her as a Dragon Master. Um, and then her Gate of Fate stage is actually unlocked. I'm actually really excited for this. The reason why I'm excited for this is because I really love Ultimuler Sephiroth. And um, I follow, I've been following his story much more closer. So I'm pretty excited to see her Gate of Fate and how she really ties into him and all the, their whole story and everything. So I'm pretty excited for that. Um, if So if you guys are into the story and stuff like that, Varna's Gate of Fate is something you might want to do just to see how she ties in with the boy. Uh, new skin, Galactic Hero for Narm. Uh, so this might bring my Narm back out. I did train Narm in the beginning of the game and I was kind of focused on her quite a bit. But then I kind of strayed away from her because I got some, some other characters. Um, but Narm is still, nonetheless, she is still a beast. And uh, do not take anything from her. As an archer, Narm can do some crazy work. So pretty excited for the Galactic Hero skin. I might go ahead and pick up that skin and then do a whole guide on Narm. Because um, I am going to be working on my Narm ASAP. And then optimization details and blah, 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 blah. Usually with these updates, they add a little bit more. So... Who knows you, i'm not sure how, how they're gonna go about it but we, maybe this is just it or maybe we might get a little bit more we never know all right let's go into the game here to take a look at varna varna is at the lower end right now here she is all right so i got my varna at 45 which is perfect that means she's not too low of a level she's on the empire honors team and the dark reincarnation team uh which suits her because she's with her husband pretty much Ultimuler, Sephiroth what I like to call him on both teams um let's see on the Empire Honors team has an archer she really fits well here just because there's no other archers here like primary archers pretty much but she her class already her main class is the ranger and I feel like she really sits well as a ranger in the Empire Honors team and even in the Dark Reincarnation team. But this team is actually full of range damage dealers. So it doesn't really matter how you go about that. So the Empire Honors team, a ranger, is probably the way to go for her. If you go Dragon Master, that can fit extremely well too. Especially if you take your um, Sephiroth here. If you take your boy down the uh, Grand Marshal path, then you can make her your flyer. And she could pretty much be your cherry of this uh, team. Obviously, she's not going to do as much work as Sherry, but uh, for the Empire Honors team, you could have yourself a nice little Sherry here. Um, let's see who else. You got Lance there too, which I don't count him out. 
but yeah so the flyer or the uh, ranger is definitely a solid path for her and uh, I might go ahead I did a guide on her on my old channel so I might bring that back when this drops and uh, do a whole rework on her and see uh see what she's got but I'm pretty excited she's a very solid SR so pretty excited for this update and hopefully um, like I said I did work on Narm back in the beginning of the game that's why she's 32 and uh, hopefully her skin looks really cool I guess I wish we could just see like a preview or something I'll probably go take a look in the uh, reddit anyways guys this was your quick video for the day I hope you enjoyed remember to like comment share and subscribe peace out